Hey, buddies, Potato Big Whiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play a Little Bit of Japan. We're having a good time. We're playing, uh, you know, some good stuff. I wonder how many people are going to, like, load up the video on the YouTube and be like, wow, my, uh, my YouTube player, it's just actually broken. He's just stuck on that note. How many comment? Let me know, future people who watch this video on YouTube. So I think we're going to settle on the forest. As much as I hate destroying the woods, it's got to happen because we can get this delicious, delicious niter tiles in here. Get ourselves a monument to spread the tiles and a granary to grow. All right, let's go ahead and harvest the preserve. Boom. Then we will go ahead and get the grove. Now the culture bomb is nice and uh, it's perfect because we now we have lots of room. Oh, I could send this guy to Venice. I don't really have good locations to send my spies. That's a bit of a downside. Uh, maybe should death is my best one, 138 gold. And it gives me vision over Egypt. That's about it. What I really need is to grab this horsey boy and send him on an adventure. If we're talking about this guy, I think we get more settlers. More settlers means more cities. More cities more means more winning. And I like winning because I am a winner. I'm not a loser, all right? No matter what those guys who I went to school with say, I'm not a loser, all right? You can, listen, I have many skills and hobbies and I'm well liked. <laughs> I'm not a loser, <laughs> I'm not a loser. All right, so we tanked the appeal, but now thanks to the Grove, we are getting a juicy plus one food, plus one faith on these two tiles. So the growth in the city is now good. We're gonna hang out to these two chops until we have access to the sanctuary and then we'll make good use of that. For now though, we could just casually work on a granary to let the city grow just a little bit more. I don't think it makes sense to preserve this tile, but it definitely feels like it would be fun to preserve here and here, and then see if we can make this into a national park. So this feels like the fun thing to do. Now the problem is, that this is very difficult to do because one, two, three, maybe theoretically settled there. It's a terrible move. This doesn't work. One, two, three. This is fun, but I need to make it work. That's the thing. It can't just be fun. It has to work. National Park. I need to improve the coffee so I can't put a National Park there. What are the appeal on these tiles? Charming and charming. If I did a forest here and here, that would coat it the way I need it. So I definitely feel like there's a national park at least here, if nowhere else. And if that's the national park, I grab both of these coffees by settling right there. Boom, so that covers that coffee. I need to get a hold of this marble. Um, so I think this is an all right configuration. The only way this makes sense is if I settle there, which is a terrible city, one, two, three, but it does allow me to do this national park meme. I mean, objectively, objectively, this is a terrible city, but it does let me do a national park meme, which I think might be worth it, especially if I do like an entertainment complex like right there, extra adjacency, I do an entertainment complex right there, extra adjacency. The question is, can I get the appeal? Yeah, I can definitely get the appeal to make this work. So we'll settle these cities like so. Um, so that's going to be what's next. <sighs> Stuff in here. Um... This is all floodplains shite, so I'll only be really settling for um, strategic resources and luxuries. Let's have a look at the appeal over here. Flood, more floodplains. It's going to be a garbage city. Probably just a token settle. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe I could do something like have a bit of fun, like industrial zone aqueduct, provide AOE production for a few cities in the area, and then... Oh, that is true. This could be a holy site instead, which would be a lot of faith. I want a pantheon that gives tiles adjacent to your holy site plus one appeal. That's what I want. Should be like, that would be a cool way to change how you play with holy sites. More potato mod ideas. So I'm thinking this might be a fun little just project here. Do preserves get more housing if the appeal is increased after it's built? Yes. Uh, it's based on the appeal of the current tile, not based on it when it's placed. It's basically like adjacency for appeals. I think you could boost the... Yeah, the problem is I could rearrange this to get a dam and get even higher adjacency, but the problem is I wouldn't be able to hit this city with it because it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. This is the furthest that I could place the industrial zone and you can't put a dam on this tile. Oh, you can. Never mind. Oh, I'm wrong. I'm actually just wrong. Actually just wrong. So there you go. There's a cool city. So that covers kind of this section of the continent. What do I want to do down here? If I'm going to do anything down here, it's probably going to be something related to the biosphere to get my late game extra chunks of tourism. So neighborhood owned by the city. I mean, if I'm going to do that, 
Can Biosphere be built on floodplains? Do this in this city. Third district would be... I don't know what I would put here. It's something random. We'll, we'll leave it blank for now. Doesn't your Pantheon bonus stack with your religion? Yes. I would like an alternative to Earth Goddess that instead just allowed you to use um, that like plus one amenities from holy sites on like four appeal or higher and uh, tiles adjacent to holy sites get plus one appeal and then plus two uh, with the worship building. Like that would be cool as hell. I'm just saying that's a really cool Pantheon. It changes how you play the game slightly. It's a fun build. Give me a Nodders. Wait, do we have Nodders? No, we don't have Nodders. Never. I was going to say, give me a Nodders in chat if you think that's a cool idea. So I've, I've, one, two, three. So I don't really have much to do with this. I have three planned cities. So that's one, two, three. Now I need to start thinking about up here again. I can never really improve these tiles. All right, so England is starting to explore the new world, which means settlers won't be far behind. Wait, holy sites do give appeal? What? Wait, when was this put in the game? When was it? What? Well, this hasn't been like this forever, has it? There's no way. Oh my god, this changes so much. There's no way that's always been in the game. There's no way. No, I refuse to believe that this has been in the game forever. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. It's now. This is new. There's actually no way. Totally since beta. Wait, theater squares give appeal too? What the fuck? I thought only industrial zones give negative appeal. Bro. What? Wait, this this can't be. I knew entertainment complexes gave appeal. Wait, dams give a plus one for each adjacent holy site, theater square, entertainment complex, water park, not dam, canal, preserve, or wonder. Okay, here's the ones I already knew. I knew uh, entertainment complex, water park, Preserve. I didn't even know Wonders gave appeal. What the fuck? I've been playing this game wrong for five years. Oh my god. This changes so many of my Earth Goddess builds. What the f- This actually, like, massive- How did I not know this? I, I knew how appeal worked, but I didn't know one of the fundamental mechanics. Wait, why is this listed twice? Why is this listed twice? God! That's important. I'm going to forget that that's true. And then someone's going to remind me again. Five, two from... Okay, so why does this tile have five appeal? Two from Coast, one from the Wonder, one from the Theater Square, one from the Entertainment Complex. That adds up. Oh, man. How is no... How have I just... I have been using appeal. How did I not know? Campus too. No, there's no way campuses give it. No, campuses don't. Your lies. I thought I knew. I thought I knew exactly how appeal works. I... This is like... This is like a fundamental game mechanic that I thought I understood completely. And it's listed twice so you don't miss it. Nice meme, dude. Okay? Shut up. Nice meme, dude. Alright? I don't see... I knew this. I knew Natural Wonders and City Parks gave extra appeal. I knew... I knew uh, Entertainment Complex and Wonders. Well, I didn't know Wonders, actually. I knew Mountains, Coast, Woods, Oasis. I, actually, I didn't know Oasis, but I assumed. I, I, I never confirmed it. I knew these. I knew these. I knew, I, I knew all of these. I didn't know encampments give negative appeal. I didn't know airports and spaceports give negative appeal. I knew these. I discovered this earlier. And I knew these. Oh, my God. I probably knew it at some point, but just forgot. Jesus. Well, that changes things going forward. My understanding of that mechanic has new possibilities and that Pantheon idea I had is irrelevant. Although I will say this, my ideas are so good they were already in the game. That's something you guys can't say, all right? With square rigging, we're going to head towards industrialization. Revealing coal is quite useful. Also, plus one production on mines is quite useful. That's actually true because if Vietnam can place districts on woods, right? That means if you put a holy site on woods, all tiles adjacent to that holy site are actually getting plus two appeal. Once from the woods and once from the holy site. That's crazy. How did I never think of this? I'm actually disgusted with myself. And I'm hiccuping. And I don't like it. Let's convert the city. Boom. Nice little bit of lo uh, religion pressure. All right. We got Huey Toa Kali. That's plus one amenity from entertainment for each lake tile within one tile. And plus one food and production on all of these lake tiles. Actually, Timmy Shora is now an actually useful city. At long last, long have we waited for the rise of Timmy Shoara. The amenities in here are wonderful. Ah ha ha, yes.
So now I think it would be safe for me to give this tile back to the capital because now the city actually has production. We are going to, now that we have Huey Toakali, it would be nice to get an armory. I think I had a tech that I needed to boost with an armory. It was gunpowder. There's no point in doing that if I don't need to boost it. Um, perhaps I continue to get just settlers out the Wazunga. It is kind of now becoming a really critical issue that I'm really far behind technologically. Again, so universities kind of take priority here, I think. I'm in awe. Ooh, okay. Well, let's have a little bit of think. So we're definitely putting a quarry of some kind on this tile. So this tile will never get a national park on it. And it would be hard to build a national park around here because the quarries actually provide negative appeal, which will make my life slightly harder. So probably the best place for a national park is betwixt this mountain range like this slap a mountain range in there normally as japan i would have gone for a religion which would mean i have much more faith but like wasn't a viable move this game because i was caught in forever war right at the beginning i could settle here this would get me chocolate marble and potentially these national parks in the very late game what would i do though in terms of districts i could move to the stone i could settle on the marble again if I settle on the marble, I mean, it makes my life slightly easier, but it doesn't really do a huge amount for me. I mean, at the very least, it would mean I could do this and move my national park down one tile. And then like a preserve in the middle of these mountains kind of makes sense. It only hits four tiles, but it's still like pretty cool. I wouldn't be able to do another national park here because of this cocoa that I need to improve. But I think I will settle on the marble. I think that's the choice we're going to go for here. Oh, it completely is how you play Persia and uh, America, that information. Like, massively. Like, to an insane degree. To, like, an embarrassing degree for me, considering this is my job to play this game. It is my job to play this game, and I didn't know that. I am... This is... This is the only thing. This is the only marketable skill I have, is playing Civilization. That's it. That's my whole, like, career, is playing this game. And I didn't know how appeal works. Why does it change Persia? Uh, it changes Persia because Persia, if I could spell, uh, has the um, Pyrodiza that gives plus one appeal to adjacent things. And so you can do really, really cool things using appeal as Persia, in particular the preserve. If you do like a configuration like this, like let's say this is a hypothetical, uh, find some blank land. Like let's say I was playing Persia, okay? You know what? <clears throat> I'll play Persia next game and I'll explain it. But basically, let's let's say I like settled here. I put a Pyrodiza here. Let's say that's a Pyrodiza. I put a grove like there, okay? Both of these tiles on the farm are getting plus one appeal from this and this. And it allows you to do things like, oh, you know, I'll put a holy site here, right? And I'll put a pyrodiza here. And because pyrodizas get bonuses from being adjacent to plus one culture for each adjacent holy site, and that culture is translated into tourism, this becomes like just a really... Persia just has really, really cool mechanics for uh, 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 placing districts that give appeal, right? Because they get bonuses. Uh, holy sites and theater squares give you appeal, and then that appeal combines really well with preserves, so on and so forth. I do kind of hate that they nerfed the Pyrodiza. It was a really cool building. There's not really much value here in this city. I'm only looking for commercial hubs to steal gold, and Venice is worth 138. I'm going to use my spy to scout a little bit until I find somewhere worth sending him. So I'm not sure how many more settlers I need, but I think now that it's taking 23 turns in this city to make a settler, I'll go ahead and do a harbour instead. The city has outlived its settler production capability. Did I see science on a tile over here? Ah, oh, it was a geotherm. There's a very good coffee monopoly over here. So this is definitely somewhere, one, two, three. I need to get a city down around here to capture all this. Okay, there could be another national park right here. Boom, 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 boom. Lovely. Maybe if I settle on the coffee and then I crack down a preserve right there. Skadoosh, got myself a good spot. One, two, three. Ah, I can't put the preserve there. Can't put the park there. Do you know why? It's too far away. Put the park there, though. Then this preserve is a bit redundant. But it does give me nice tiles. Do you use mods? I use UI mods. Like, to change how the game looks. Like, like here's just a trade screen that's easier to use. Like, oh, I want to buy tobacco? Here's the deal. I don't have to, like, go in here and be like, okay... You want to sell me tobacco, you'll give me this much, boom, boom, boom. Instead, I can just go like, all right, cool, boom. I'm looking for luxuries. All right, he's selling tobacco, boom. Uh, what about strategics? Nobody's selling strategics. I would like to buy some great works of, uh, I don't know, uh, 
let's get some great works of writing. Nobody's selling any. Boom. Okay, that's me done with trading. Instead of having to go like, uh, Yes, honey, would you like to sell me this? No, okay. I think it would be a good move for me to pick up a lighthouse for growth. Let's go ahead and pop down this city here. Skidoosh. Happy days. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I do need to think about my appeal slightly. I can put a mine there, no problemo. Let's get started on the aqueduct and the industrial zone. I think of all of these, the industrial zone is the more important one, so we'll work on that. Do I care about a... I'll get a water mill. There's extra food on that maze there. 17 turns on a builder seems like a pretty reasonable amount of time. I'm probably reaching the end of my like tether when it comes to building builder uh, settlers. There's only so many cities I can care about micromanaging. You know what I mean? How are you guys feeling? Airplane food, eh? It's a real kicker right there. Lighthouse in the capital, that's plus one trade route. We'll go ahead and purchase the trader. Uh, we'll come in here. We want to save our gold. I could purchase the shipyard. That'd be plus three production. I think I'm going to hard build the shipyard. Uh, you know what? Just this once I'm going to purchase the shipyard. Boom. Because actually it makes all these coastal tiles that I want to work. The hell are you working, right? You're working this. That makes sense. All right. Makes a bit more sense now. I actually do like having lots of production in here though. So I'm going to work like these nice, these nice tiles first. How's Protestantism doing? She's doing well. Patch Acuity is holding the line with Islam. I need to get like an Islamic city so I can so I can undermine what's her face. Wilhelmina. But my hope is that by converting a bunch of cities in the new world, I'm making her life harder because she doesn't have me converted. How much time total does it take you to complete a game on average? Probably about six hours, I'd say on average. All right, boom, we're going to place this city. Oh, all right. Skadoosh. We're living near the eye of the Sahara. We will go for the monument. Uh, in terms of improvements, I actually don't know what to do in this city for a while. I could do farms. I'm probably going to maybe farm the floodplains, lumber mill, everything else. So I'll just like pop a farm there because it's an okay tile. It's not like the greatest tile I've ever seen. And then we're locked in. We're locked in and cocked in. Oh my God, he made a monorail. Check it out. Monorail. I love monorails. Okay, it's really cool. We're gonna buy this tile in Jifu. Boom, boom, boom. We're gonna uh, oh, we're gonna make sure we cancel the production queue. You can see here, preserve is gonna take 99 turns. We chop. Now it's only gonna take 63, so we got a third of the price off. We have to let it finish for one turn, and we're now slightly closer to getting a preserve in there, which will culture bomb and get us closer to the finite finish line. Industrial zone dam on that floodplain. I already have a da I already have an industrial zone going up over here, so that's unnecessary. It would just be a lot of production for no real gain, considering this city's goal is mostly to build preserves and entertainment complexes. Uh, we got our preserve in Shizuoka, and I reckon we'll be purchasing the grove in here. I haven't decided upon my other districts. Now, in Jumping Jacks, I think getting a grove here is pretty good. Most of the tiles would benefit. It would give me a lot of growth. It would give me a lot of culture and it would give me a lot of faith if I were able to pick that up. The question is, I could get it in four turns by purchasing. So I'll just go ahead and grab the monument and buy it. Now is the era of trading. So we want to start trading with all the AI. Uh, we'd also like to get alliances if we could. So if we're thinking about alliances, who is the big bad wolf this game? The big bad wolf is Wilhelmina. So I'm going to talk to her and I'm going to get a research alliance with her. So any trade routes she sends to me will be scientific, which will benefit her and benefit me. With Cleopatra, I'm going to go ahead and get a cultural alliance. Is that what I want? Patch Acuity is en route to win. That's a problem. I'm just going to go economic with her. Economic alliance with Cleopatra. Relic is created if the apostle dies in theological combat. Pilgrim is okay. I'll sit on Pilgrim and I'll use him to block that city. Okay, you're just never going that way. We'll harvest rainforest. We're not spending gold on tiles. We're not harvesting yet. Gain sources. This is going to be a hard game. How's the number of domestic tourists determined? It's basically the amount of culture that you've generated, whether it's by boosting cultural techs or by just raw generation divided by 100. I think. Uh, let me double check. It might be 400. <clears throat> It's every 100 culture you produce, you get one extra tourist. That's pretty much how it works. So every time I produce 100 culture, I get a tourist. I'd say 50% cheaper with production, double, great scientists, boom, boom, boom. I didn't actually check what happened there. Great scientist is doubled. Great. Um, and military units are cheaper. That's going to be helpful. Now, I really would like grants. I'd love to go down to deeper into this tree. It wouldn't be bad to get moksha. Promote Magnus, maybe? 
surplus logistics, increased power, settlers don't consume pop. I think curator is the direction I want to head in here, maybe. I think I'm going to just take the plus two gold on Reyna here. It adds a little bit of gold to my treasury, and it gets me the option to maybe go for contractor in the late game. So I think that's okay. Yeah, you're just sitting here protecting, yoinking your way through life, as all great yoinkers do. Okay, so we've unlocked industrialization, which gives us access to coal and plus one production on our mines, which is the important part, as well as our electronics factory. So that's going to be a little bit of a priority. I may actually grab Reyna, since I'm pretty close to getting a second governor title in the near future. That's 20 turns on conservation. That seems like a very long time, but I guess it's what I have to do. I may slap down Reyna into Yidzgalia so that I can um, grow a uh, purchase I can purchase the district that I need, the industrial zone, right when it's like available to me, essentially. I mean, it's available now, but I can't actually do it. And then I'll be able to get my electronics factory quick, smart. Strategy is kind of, kind of brute force in the game right now. I'll pick up printing for the double tourism yield from great works of writing. And uh, also the diplomatic visibility is helpful. I grabbed my university in a hundred science deficit. And I think it might be time to actually go for a theater square. Now the problem I have, ooh, there's coal in Timmy Shower. That's a big help. I don't think I care about the adjacency of my theater square so much as I care about the, um, literally anything else. <laughs> um, so I'd rather just like plop it down on a random tile and just build it real quick and start getting theater squares. Yeah, 24 turns on a settler now is a little bit too rich for my blood. I think I've gotten enough, but I will be going ahead and picking up a har. I'll get the library. The library is nice and cheap, cheap and cheerful. Definitely need more builders. Definitely need more builders. Put the theater square beside Huey and destroy like one of this city's only three productive tiles. Are you crazy? You gotta think, okay? This is why you guys get yourselves into these predicaments. All right, gonna harvest here. Preserve is almost done. Probably should have smashed magnus over there <laughs> should have smashed your teddy you're a legend mate thanks man appreciate it has petragon uh uber petra city in the north of the new world it would this would be like a disgusting petra over here i think petra is still available yeah, nobody built petra this game we have our preserve in osaka eight turn build there is pretty reasonable i think it was tokyo no it was jumping jacks that we're going to buy it next turn you help me sleep every night never miss a youtube video <laughs> you missed one last night sadly <laughs> i couldn't actually release one youtube was just like nope no videos for you oh let's have an old look around there's no way this is 20 turns it's like a crazy amount four turns until the golden oh wait actually we have enough era score to keep our golden age never mind it's golden age all the way down baby this is the golden age of golden ages. We've got a theater square and science deficit. Let's go ahead and get our amphitheater. It is time to start building up our culture. We need to build up our train. Oh, that's not good. I'll fight her units to try and make them go away. But all I can do though, I can't really stop her religious role. Let's have a look at where all the luxuries are. If we can't get good cities, we should at least grab the luxury. So there's some furs up here to the north. There's some coffee over here. A little bit of chocolate over here on the east. These are definitely things we want to be considering. I definitely would like to get this fur and this chocolate in one fell swoop. I could probably do a Petra city here, actually. Because if we if we look, right, there's there's an absolute one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve desert Petra hills. And if I settled my city right there, I could get them all. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So grab you send you right there and we'll begin the petra train baby who knows if i'll actually get the petra but we'll give it the old college try lads oh a nice chunk of coal right there i was lucky yeah i reckon i'm gonna um, the appeal here is already pretty bad with all of this jungle but i could improve it by harvesting the jungle and so i will and that will be the preserve completed i'm actually gonna buy the grove in here because this city needs it more than other cities. Um, because now you can see, if I refresh the city, we are working a delicious two faith, four food, one production, two culture tile um, right here. That is absolutely solid, 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 solid work. Can you rename a city to Otakuville? You know what? Okayama can be Otakuville. We're bringing out all the stereotypes, right? Well, maybe not all of them, but some of them. The city of Timishowara has completed its campus at long last, much to my delight. 
It's taken the city a hell of a long time to actually do anything remotely relevant to my game, um, but it's finally doing something. Yvas Gilia, I'm going to get that lighthouse because I want to grow this city. Lighthouses give you access to extra food on these water tiles, as well as extra housing, both of which you need to grow a city because I need to grow this city in order to place this industrial zone. If I'm going to place this industrial zone, I will need to build an archaeological museum in here and an archaeologist. So settling will be delayed slightly, which is fine. Not a big deal. If we're looking at the city of Jumping Jacks, it's doing pretty well. I could probably use a builder and just go around and sort of retool the landscape slightly. Uh, I'm sitting on four envoys. Now, Rapa Nui is the person I was trying to take control of purely so I have access to the Moai. This will allow me to, in areas where I don't have or want to place uh, national parks, I'll be able to place the Moai instead and gain a bunch of tourism and culture from that. And that's going to be super helpful in very, very select areas. Can I actually attack on the water? No, you can't. The game lied. It lied to me. It lied they lied still lying the game is a weaselly little liar dude a weaselly little liar all right lovely we got our granary in here uh we gotta actually think about what are our, what are our discord what is our what, what sorry what what, what is that what is our plan with a a a this is an okay city it has two really high food high production tiles I reckon an aqueduct, sure, makes sense in here because that's an extra six housing. So that'd be up to 10 housing in here just off the back of that aqueduct. So the city would be able to grow to insane levels. I reckon after that, though, it's Builder City. We're just going to spam Moai all day, every day, and there's nothing anyone can do about it. We cannot be stopped. We are untouchable. We own an entire continent. We This is our continent. It belongs to us now. It's ours. There's nothing... Nothing can be done to stop us. We are unstoppable. So I think I'd like to grab even more of these resources. I think I can grab this chocolate and this chocolate with a single settler. So I'll grab you who had no job and I'll send you to there. Now, England might get to it before me because this is about when the enemy will start settling the new world. I'm using my spies to steal gold. Here comes another city. I don't think any of the information here has changed to make me want to reconsider what I want to do with this city. I'm more or less happy with it. What I am going to do, however, is harvest this cattle to force grow the city to three population in a single turn and actually work more tiles, which will allow me to get the monument faster as well as the granary. Uh, let's go ahead and pop down a mine here on the strategic resource. The world enters the modern era. So now that we're in another golden age, uh, we are going to go ahead and completely ignore Hicks on Draconis again because Heartbeat of Steam has carried us so hard through this era on our homeland that it's actually been incredible and we're just going to do it again because it's so much production. Ooh, 19 turns of Forbidden City. I would love to get my hands on a Forbidden City. How long would it take me to build that in my capital? 22 turns on a Forbidden City in the capital? I think that actually takes priority over an archaeological museum. Plus one wild card is wild my friends absolutely wild let's get the university for a little bit of extra technology we'll harvest there boom we're getting things finished kobe beef right next to two cattle well you know what we're harvesting so we can get the city up to five population instantaneously quick five pop city borders will pop and expand real quick that yeah, feels good imagine if you had sick hunt dude there's no way it would be good i would be missing out i would be miss missing out on literally 12 production in my capital. I'm sorry, there's nothing you can say. When I can just harvest cattle and get these cities to four population instantaneously anyway, I could harvest this wheat and get these cities up. It's just I'm not, like, it's not that good. It really isn't. When you get a free five charge builder when upon settling the city, Hicks on Traconis just doesn't cut the mustard. Rip, Rapa Nui. No, they're fine. No one's at war with them. I mean, I don't have control of them, but like, now I do. I think I can take out the colonization card now. When's my next 13 turns? Yeah, I think I'll I think I'll pop out colonization. And instead, I do feel like like 15 production across an empire is pretty good. Vissel banking could be quite powerful. Colonial taxes is quite powerful. I think urban planning right now is better than colonial taxes. But colonial taxes is maybe better than Machiavellianism because I already have my spies. So I'll plug in urban planning and colonial taxes, pick up all that extra production and gold in the new world. Because remember, this is everything here is on a continent other than my capital, because like that's just how the new world start works. So we're definitely going for a colonial style build. Now, the other thing we need to consider. Yeah, well, no, we won't bother with that. Never mind. Uh, let's have a look. We might be able to get full control of coffee. Any monopolies? Any monopolizers in chat? We could definitely get a monopoly of marble. Like we're we're like almost there, actually. If I go to marble, and I search exclusively for it. 
Marble, marble, marble. Losing me marbles. I have marble. One, two, th wait. How do I have three copies of marble? One, two, three. Okay. Is Casa de Contracion gone? I don't have any room to place it because I put districts beside every single tile of my governor plaza. Even if it wasn't gone, I probably wouldn't be able to build it. Plus, I would have to put my governors in the new world, which is like... So, I'm good. I'm good, thanks. What's the... L I might be able to flip this city and get myself another, like, missionary or two. I have a sec... I have two apostles now in the bank who can fight together to hold back Protestantism. I'm not trying to stop her. I'm just trying to slow her down. It's not my job to stop her. It's the job of the Inca to stop her. And he's actually doing a reasonably okay job. Oh, no, he's collapsing. He's actually dying. He's losing... <sighs> I mean, I'm the last bastion now against the uh, against Protestantism in the world. She's got three or five sieves converted, so she's going to keep pumping hard. What's her faith per turn? 220. That's It's going to be really hard for me to get uh, national parks if I'm having to fight her religion. Maybe an Inquisition? It's not my religion. I can't start an Inquisition. Can I? I don't think I can start an Inquisition. Well, Egypt is building the Casa de Contracion. Do I see any other wonders, actually? Before I commit to Forbidden City, I should do at least a curse research. Yeah, oh. Apu is a four pop city. It'd take her 21 turns to build. It'd take me 23 turns. How is she building this in 22 turns in a four pop city? I'm sorry. The AI is insane. Now I'm losing 10% production. Ugh, okay, how do I do this? I don't have anything to chop. I could harvest the stone. Yeah, I reckon harvesting the stone is my best move. We got a library in Weeb Central. Let's get a harbor. We want to grow this city. Are you close to the great engineer that gives extra world building? I have zero great engineer points. Zero. Policy cards, I probably could shove in the wonder construction card. I would have to t switch away for conservation. Conservation is too big of an important part of my strategy to switch away. So the best thing to do is to harvest the quarry. Right, let's start getting archaeological museums. Now, the nice thing about archaeological museums is because they are so efficient at generating tourism, they're a really easy thing to effectively switch into deep into the late game. We got a grove in Osaka, which is fantastic because it's giving a lot of these tiles higher yields, which is making me very happy, um, especially this tile right here. What's the hockey you press to skip to a unit's turn instead of physically pressing the skip button? Spacebar. I have, um, in terms of hotkeys, what I use is the Z key to press the next action button. Basically, what the next action button does is it just clicks here. So whatever this is, I press Z and it goes to that action. F there's went down to 18. I think I can get mine down. I could pay 455 gold. I think with a chop, I might be able to do it. So with the completion of this grove, um, we need to make a decision about what our next move is. We should probably go for entertainment complexes in order to increase the appeal of the local area, as well as to also gain amenities and tourism, because uh, entertainment complexes actually do give a decent amount of tourism. One tourism from the arena. Another tourism comes from the zoo. Sorry, no, it's not the zoo. It is the stadium, which gives you plus two tourism if the city has 10 population or higher, which is not bad. Not amazing either. Let's be real. Not amazing either, but not bad. Oh, I could build some of these nice cheap late game districts like the Holy Site. Here's an idea. What about uh, Holy Site Theatre Square? Gives appeal in the local area, provides appeal to these tiles that will eventually be used for seaside resorts. It's not bad. I can build them really quickly because the city has really high production. I could also maybe do a campus instead. Uh, I like the idea of the Holy Site and Theatre Square. Both of them give me yields that I need bad badly, which are tourism and culture, uh, or tourism, culture, and faith. Buy apostles before Netherlands, four apostle wipes your holy city. I can just block. I can just block. Lighthouse in Yaskilia. Uh, that's going to give the city the housing and growth it needs. I'm going to swap this fish tile because I want the city to grow to seven population slightly faster because it's working in negative one food tile. Any tile that doesn't have two food is, you know, not neutral. You need at least two food on a tile for it to be food neutral. And then if I grab the shipyard, the city will actually have a reasonable measure of production. Maybe you'll be able to get its industrial zone in a reasonable amount of time. 18 turns, 19 turns on their, 19 turns on their forbidden city, right? It's happening slowly, slowly but surely we might be able to beat them. So Moais are quite an interesting uh, thing. So now that I'm maybe considering starting to build them, uh, they give you plus one culture. They also give you plus one culture for every adjacent to Moai and plus two culture if they're adjacent to vo volcanic soil. 
plus one culture if they're adjacent to a coast or a lake, and they give you additional culture and tourism as you advance through the civics and technology tree. They can be built on basically any non-arid or basically any fertile tile. So I already have a like insane amount of national parks placed. So what I should maybe consider with some of these places up here to the north is just strip mining them and filling them with Moai statues. Like that might actually be the move because they're just the, like these are very expensive and it's very hard to fill out this many national parks in a game so having an option for moai statues like just fill this area with moai statues absolutely appeals to me and probably going to be a priority one two three to kind of mooch up this way and that's probably what i'll do in some of these like later game settled cities oh i need to start building my ancient walls i i need to switch i need to switch my government the second i get conservation i need to make like huge government changes and start building ancient walls and stuff so i didn't really have a plan for another district in this city i could in theory get myself a holy site there is a plus three holy site here plus one plus two from districts there's a plus five there but i don't want to waste this really nice thing i think the holy site helps me get my tourism online a little bit sooner so i'll go for that we got our monument in here it's sort of a same predicament i'm in i can build districts of some kind and holy sites are still really cheap for me. In fact, they're half price because I'm playing Japan and they're getting halved again. So I think it gives appeal to this tile, grab a theater square, do a little bit of a mixture of theater squares and holy sites and all that sort of stuff just to get as much tourism as possible. Never went for a Diplo quarter. I didn't, I decided against going for a Diplo quarter this game. I just never had the time or the energy. It probably is a mistake. Probably should get a Diplo quarter, but envoys just haven't been important to me. None of these guys really help my victory condition, out except Rapa Nui. And I never built the districts that scale off of these guys. I have almost no theater squares. That said, I am starting to build theater squares, so a diplomatic quarter now might be a good idea. I think I will spend my money to get my monopolies. That's a worthwhile expenditure, in my opinion. I usually spam out districts. Why do you not immediately build a district? Um, it's usually because I just haven't decided what district I want to build because I haven't thought about it. That's that's it. That's all it is. It's not, it's not like a huge, massive opportunity cost to not put your district down. Obviously, you should put down your districts as soon as possible. But like, I just, I don't know. It's my particular style of play. Um, in Tokyo, what am I going to do in this city? There's an OK Theater Square right here on this tile, but that will eventually get flooded as well. I'm just going to grab the Diplomatic Quarter in here, actually. Makes a lot of sense. It's not the most useful thing, but it's an OK place to place it. It's relatively out of the way. My spy managed to steal, but he did get caught, so he has to run away. All right, boom. Time to settle the Coco City. Gadoosh. We'll delete that. And we're soon going to be... Ah, uh, the Preserve. If I'd seen that, I would have moved. It's OK. This can be Moai. It's going to be Moai City. We'll skip the National Park. Yeah, we'll put a coffee industry down here. We'll go get the other coffee. I need merchants for my corporations. He wants to swap great works. I don't know why. It literally does nothing. He's just the Inca being weird. I got a builder in here. Pop you over there. Perfect. Get a mine and come down here and clear that quarry. Yeah, we absolutely need to get the harbor in this city. It's going to be the saving grace. Shrine in Osaka for the faith generation. Because I do have a couple of envoys and a couple of fate saves. Honestly, if if this was not a absolutely ram jam, clam jam, like wrecked, no room to play game, this is like the perfect city state setup for Japan. Tons of faith, tons of culture, and a sprinkling of production and no science. Like actually perfect. But um, because it was a ram jam, clam jam, you know, there was no room to do anything. Nazca lines are interesting. Um, I may just take the seismity of it. Oh, did I did I misspell Moai City? Yeah, I did. What can I do with my gold in here? There's not really a whole lot of tile improvements until conservation. So thinking about our next moves, I definitely feel like going for computers is the right move. We want to avoid steel as much as I want the Eiffel Tower. We need to avoid it for a while. It's the last settler from this city. Perfect. I'll buy a trade route in the... Oh, I need to cancel this trade route before I do that. I'll buy a trade route in Sushiville. City has great production. We'll start cranking out a few builders to protect our lands or um, improve our lands rather. Walls, we'll start building walls soon, um, but not right now. So I want to be heavily trading with Egypt so that I can extract as much um, value from the democracy government that I'll be switching into soon, which gives you plus four food and plus four production for trading with your allies. All right, Petra City. We're laying the foundations for Petra. It's like an isolated desert tile buffing all of these tiles. So Petra will take 134 turns, but not if I grab myself Magnus and crack him into Fukuoka. She wants to sell me a great work. Oh, actually, I need to start talking to the Inca and bringing this culture per turn down. It's going to be a huge problem for me if I don't start dealing with this. Um, their runaway culture gain is going to be insane. I have room for one more great work of writing, so I'm going to buy it off of him. He'll be reluctant to sell it because he's uh, going for that kind of a victory. He already has silk. 
He might want marble. Give me a bit of gold. So he'll take this deal, Drinking Alone by Moonlight. Lovely, thank you for the great work. And every little tiny chunk of culture I can chip away at him is going to be a big deal. My spy made it home. And I'm going to go ahead and take con artist on him because that means he does siphon funds as if he's two levels higher, which lowers the probability that he fails his mission or gets captured or caught or any of those negative outcomes. It just makes him more successful. So I'm settling this here. Probably don't need to settle this desert. Instead, you just make your way kind of vaguely in that direction. Little old settler. Uh, let's go ahead and build another industry on the on the Choco. I'm going to buy this other chocolate just to make sure I get it. And I'll do the same thing with this chocolate. I know it won't be, it'll be a long time before Nazca ever gets them, but I, I also just want to get them online. I'll go ahead and harvest the woods in here and tell the city to work that. It's time to start spending my money on tile purchases. I've been holding off on spending my money on tile purchases for a while, but it's been, it's become necessary. So we are 14 turns away. They're 11 turns away. I need to do this switch in three turns. So I need to break this in two turns, then harvest it then do yes okay we got it the builder on the stone is in position to harvest right temple in osaka for the extra faith faith is starting to actually grow up which is feeling nice so the reason why this guy is in this position is because in one turn i'm going to break the stone uh and then when i end that turn i'll be able to change my government over plug in the 15 percent production boost towards wonders harvest this tile instantaneously get a production boost to the forbidden city uh while simultaneously changing my government to get the 15 percent production then the next two turns i'll plant a forest and plant a lumber mill and then this city will maybe be able to outcompete apu for the forbidden city that's my hope oh the builder on this stone the builder on this stone and this deer are waiting until conservation when i can build a sanctuary in tokyo i'm going to chop it out with these two chops um, and then start laying down lumber mills all around the city. Or not lumber mills, but, but forests, at least. All right, another really good holy site. Feels good. Let's get some shrines and temples and all that jazz. Wait, you get the production boost when Magnus isn't installed yet? No, I just, I wanted to chop it now. I, di I didn't want to wait. I just wanted to chop it now so I could get this improved. So I break the stone. Liang has to say in Timmy Shore, it's the only way that city gets production. Uh, we harvest rainforest. We're trying to get rid of all the forest in here. We're spamming out builders to make a Moai city. We got our theater squares in juice something or other. I'll put a single turn into an ancient walls before we go for the sanctuary. Granary, monument, then aqueduct, I think. The city has really good production. Very happy with it. 13 production from worked tiles. Feeling good. So this next turn is a massive turn for our civilization. Um, we're going to be getting conservation, which is going to basically be the biggest revolution since the start of the game in terms of what we're doing and how we're doing it and how it changes the direction of our civilization. So the reason why conservation is such a big deal is because conservation has three really big parts, okay? Awards three envoys, okay, cool. A allows the building of national parks and the purchase of naturalists with faith, okay? That is a first really big part, all right? This means we can now start making national parks to generate tourism. Allows builders to plant woods. This combines, this is huge. This ability is massive, right? This allows us to uh, dictate the appeal of our tiles and also improve flatland tiles that not, had no production. Now into the late game for the cost of two builder charges by planting a forest and then a lumber mill. Additionally, um, you get tourism from walls. So this is going to trigger a, a complete like like slam on the brakes change direction we take out veterancy we immediately plug in limes for 100 production towards defensive buildings i.e walls we keep the public works cards in for 30 percent production otherwise that's the only real change of our government except for we've pulled this out and we're plugging in skyscrapers so we can build our wonders faster would it be best to put a national park on the rest of the pantanal tiles i i i considered it but i mean maybe I'd have to settle a city here and you know, maybe, maybe, we'll maybe it, okay? We'll maybe it. Stay on target, chat, okay? Stop going on rogue. We're talking about a certain thing. So the direction change of our cities is, uh, well, first of all, this city can't change direction right now because it's too busy. So I harvest there. I have that down to seven turns, which is slightly ahead of them. And then I do forest lumber mill and that might speed me up ever so slightly again. But more importantly, I go to every single city in my empire right now and I start building walls. Um pretty much across the entire empire That's right we're gonna go for sanctuary in tokyo though because we've been saving these chops it's a 440 production build so it will take a long time but chopping these two things will get me about halfway there and then these guys will also build forests and lumber mills in and around here well mostly forests to improve the production and when that sanctuary finishes it's going to be godlike 
So in here, again, ancient walls, cancel everything. Literally, my entire empire is going to be building walls because this directly translates production into tourism. Very, very, very few things translate production directly into tourism. Now, if I'm building something important like the Forbidden City, that's not going to happen. But pretty much everywhere, even in places where I'd rather be building like my lighthouse and shipyard, mm -mm, we're building walls. Walls are the thing. Also, I totally forgot to unlock Renaissance walls. Did I? No, I have Renaissance walls. Okay. I think the city just needs to be healed. Why can't you build Renaissance walls? I have them unlocked. Oh, you're, you're still building your medieval walls. Never mind, I'm dumb. Uh, so with the completion of conservation, now we basically want to rush for democracy. Cristo Redentor. Cristo Redentor. Uh, then democracy, essentially. So it's boom, boom. Those are the next two notes. The reason we don't really care about much of the stuff in here. It doesn't really do anything. Neighborhoods are kind of nice because you can use them later to make shopping malls. They're okay. You could maybe prioritize, neighbor, you know, it's, but this is kind of more on the way to getting Crystal Red and Tor, right? Enlightenment, nationalism, blah, blah, blah. We don't really care about opera and ballet because we didn't go for early theater squares. Um, and this is better the earlier you get it. And we're getting it like it's turn 230. The game's almost over. You know, most of my games, I would have won 20 turns from now, but this is a hard game. Uh, so we're going to go straight for democracy. And the reason we want to go for democracy is because there is a hidden mechanic in this game whereby, um, depending on the government, actually, did they change it? But anyway, democracy gets the, the lowest tourism penalties. I could put a Moai here and it would be plus two culture, or I could plant woods and get a high production tile. I think I would rather get a high production tile. But you're going to start seeing this tourism number skyrocket. But that's going to be it for this episode. I love you all very much. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.